Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BC, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of true school sports subscribers. Now, word to my brethren, word to them, is South Africa and Japan. So, speaking of South Africa, speaking of Japan, we just talked about the Nayoa, the monster Noye, and how he ducked all the top fighters at 115, Long Vasai, Estrada, you know, them dudes. Uh, wanted no problems, wanted no action, wanted no smoke with the top guys at 115. Saying he's gonna move up to one, he's gonna say he's saying he's gonna move up to 118 after he uh, fights his guy this weekend. So, with that being taken into account, and with that being said, the best the cons- right now I don't want to say the consensus because some people might think Ryan Burnett's the best fighter at 118, but a lot of people think that Zolani Tete is the best fighter at 118 pounds in the bantamweight division. And tete has got some pretty ambitious plans. He wants to unify, he wants to unify the division with Ryan Burnett, Louis Netty. But he's also made his feelings very, very known that he wants to fight the monster. He wants to fight Nayoa Inoue. And um, to me, the way I look at the way I look at it now is like, okay, he dumped them guys in 115. But now he's moving up to weight class where there, are, where there is good fights for him. And this is a fight where if he took it. He fought Tate. He could redeem himself for the for the ducks that took place at 115, and even with Romo Gonzalez early in his career because he did duck Romo Gonzalez. Let's not get it twisted. So, um, Tate was asked on Twitter recently if he would face Nayo Anoye, and he replied saying, "I quote: Those are the kind of fights we're looking for. I'm ready to fight anyone in the bantamweight division." Now, Tate, for those of you guys who may not be as up on him uh, as you should. Uh, he has done some historical things uh, in his career. He's looked sensational his last couple fights. Um, we'll go back to November. He fought uh, Ganya, uh, one this guy named Ganya, and uh, he made history in that fight. A pretty damn good historical achievement he made in that fight. Um, he stopped the dude in 11 seconds, which, if you didn't know, is the quickest major you know it's the quickest knockout in the history of boxing in modern boxing the quickest win in a major world title fight in, in modern box history and that's no small accomplishment so he's been looking sensational he's uh quite a dangerous fighter you know he's a guy you know who's a, a southpaw dangerous uh hard puncher it's the kind of opponent that we'd like to see nayo Inoue in there with a guy who is equal in size can punch Really, really hard, and is a dangerous opponent because if you look at even like his win against Nervias, like he's straight up bullying Nervias, and, and it's funny now because Tate's probably having the biggest fight as far as name recognition goes um, with Nervias in his next fight, and that'll be taking place on let's see when is that fight taking place? That'll be on February 10th, so that'll be the day before B Taylor Day, aka my 23rd birthday. So uh, yeah, he'll be fighting uh, Omar Nervias on February 10th at the Copper Box Arena. So um yeah man you know good little uh re- resume he's putting together um Nevada is probably the first like like name win on his record so um yeah man th- for me the, w- the way i see it is this if he fights a luis netty or tay tay those two in particular i can't really speak much of ryan burnett i'll be honest i haven't really watched a lot of ryan burnett i just know what i hear but i've watched luis netty and i've watched some tay tay fights and those guys are dangerous opponents for Inoue. And if he takes either one of them two fights, then um, that's how he redeems himself, in my eyes, for ducking the guys at 115. Because And Romo Gonzalez. I, I always add that in there. Because he did duck Romo Gonzalez. Um, and that's what it is, man. Like, the monster is a, is a, is a good talent, um, has the skills to be a pound-for-pound pound fighter. you know. And I say he's had to be a pound-for-pound pound fighter because after he ducked them guys at 115, I, I have to take him off my list. As much as I like him, I have to take him off my list because um, you can't be the consensus best talent in the division by most boxing experts and fans. And then when there's two big fights, you know, when, when, when there's big fights on the table, you know, coming up soon, I know – uh, and Kahas and Yafai and them dudes turned them down. That, and that's fine, but them, them dudes are the lower echelon of the champions of the division. The guys you need to be worried about, you, you should be worried about fighting the winner. You sh- he should have been worried about fighting the winner of Rung Vasai versus Estrada. And then whatever happens to the fight, then you move up if it's really killing you that much to wait to wait. So that's just my take on the matter. But um, yeah, Zolani Tete, dangerous, southpaw, world champion, um, 
wants to fight Nayo the monster Anoye. So Anoye, making it clear, South African wants a piece of you. Hopefully you want a piece of the South African and the Mexican as well, and Luis Neddy because um good fighter as well. But um, let me know what you guys think about Nayo Anoye and the, the the you know new landscape of, of opponents for him now that he's going to be moving up to 118. Um, I don't know, man. I don't think I I I, I don't think I, I don't think it'll take us a long Tay Tay fight right away because Tay Tay's in some good form right now. So it is what it is. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Take the time to subscribe. Do all that good stuff. You know, tell your mother's cousins, uncles, boyfriends, friend, or <laughs> whoever else you got to tell about true school sports and just the great content we got on here. And um, yeah, man, like I say in every video, my name is Brendan Taylor and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. And that's Dania in South Florida, if you didn't know. So if you didn't know, you know, get your geography up, you know, go, go look at a map. And um, until next time, take care, guys.